we, we filmed in 65 millimeter negative. This is the third time we've done that. Uh, we did a, an IMAX film back in the mid 80s and then we did Barack in the early 90s which we shot in uh, 65 output in 70 millimeter prints and um, this film was shot in 65 again but we took it into a digital uh, output DCP at, at a high res scan uh, at 8K so it's a lot of um, it's a kind of a combination of uh, 50 year old Panavision camera system and uh, cutting edge digital technology to output this way and there's a lot of advantages to using that combination of technologies now. The uh, image is our main character and so what we wanted was the uh, fidelity, the range that the 65 format gave us to bring back the essence of the uh, locations and the uh, portraits. The film is really a, a, a nonverbal guided meditation on birth, death, and rebirth, and what we were trying to show was the flow, the interconnection. And so we needed the high-res image to uh, move you through the film. We, we scanned our negative, our 65 millimeter negative into a digital, it, at 8K resolution, it was a file that was huge, it was a 30 terabyte file of the image. And then that it gets bo boiled down, but uh, to, a, to a, a 4K, and you know, I don't know if anyone here is aware, but these are new projectors that were just installed this week, s you know, serendipitously uh. for us, the Academy, so we're very uh, excited that was, it was ready in time for our, our presentation in 4K. Um, so, uh, but we, we, when we did Baraka, when we put out the Blu-ray for Baraka, we did the same process and really had an amazing result with the amount of detail that's retained in the digital file and, and, and realized that the, uh, all the quality of that shooting in that larger negative ends up in the digital file and that's why we've output this time. There's so many advantages to, to doing it this way. I, I know we, we consider ourselves film guys. I know there's a digital versus film controversy right. going on, but um, when we're doing this hybrid now, um, we, we love that every audience sees this film as a first generation print. There's no scratches, no dirt. Every, every showing of this film is pristine because of that output. You know, Baraka was about humanity's relationship to the eternal and this is really trying to take it a step further. And uh, the, the word samsara is a Tibetan Sanskrit word for the uh, wheel of life or it can also be about impermanence and that flow. When you cut uh, five or six images together in a cutting room, you know suddenly a narrative is formed, just, just on its own. And what we tried to do was steer it away from that and move it into the middle so it's more about the flow of the image from uh, subject to subject. Even though some of these images are very powerful, uh, it's when they break that flow. You've got people in cages and animals in cages and walls around religions and uh, dolls that replicate humans. It's it's all there, it's all part of the flow, but we weren't trying to say this is good or bad, right or wrong, we were just trying to move through it. And we're not trying to tell, again, you know, right or wrong or, or good or bad, there's, there's a lot of complex issues that are raised from the imagery. Um, you know, when you see, uh, and when we were in that chicken factory with the pink uniforms, I mean, you know, you, you look at that, it, you know, it's horrific work, very tough job, six days a week, and I, you know, they found that they make about $150 a month, it's very difficult work, it was very cold in there. And you just say, you know, is, but they, they need those jobs. I mean, you can't say that's a bad, you know, you don't say good or bad about it. You know, it, it is, and you, you want the audience to understand that and feel that. And, you, you know, we're not looking to, to make, um, to try to provide answers to, to the world's problems here. We just want, you know, people to feel what's going on out there.